tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Hello everybody who's watching, welcome. Uh, I'm so happy to be here and talking to you, Gracie. <laughs> Yeah, you can what call me intro, Gracie uh, or Tita Gracie. Yeah, Tita Gracie. <laughs> what, an in, well, what an intro. You know, we've... <laughs> <laughs> and I thought about that after lunch today and I said, you know, everybody who interviews Michael will talk about, oh, he has more than 100 roles in all those plays and he was in the original cast of Miss Saigon. Everybody knows that. But I think I'm one of the few who knows <laughs> that. Sorry, and I think I surprised you when I dug up my old passport. I know, right? <laughs> it's very interesting how people are recreating themselves. You know what I mean? True, very, true. Very I think that the see. creative spirit, that you're right, the creative spirit cannot be put on lockdown. Tremendous experience as a young man, as, yeah. a, as a professional actor in yes. the early 80s. Uh, yeah. What really a tremendous way to build your foundation as an actor and your strength. You yes, know, and your resilience. Phys correct. Physically capable of doing that, you know. Um, yes. So you learn, you learn to sing through a sore throat. You learn to sing through a cold. You learn to sing through a headache. You learn to sing through almost anything. And since you were in repertory, you were like a trap. You were like a family, very close. Oh, yeah. Together. Oh yeah, we were like we were like siblings, all of us. We were like, like we were really close. We were really family. We eat together. And we work every single yeah. day. Yeah. What were your most memorable uh, musicals during oh, the eight? You know, um, I, I like musicals for several reasons, and I, I choose. I I, I have favorites um, for different reasons, either because the music is absolutely beautiful or I had a memorable experience performing in that musical uh, or um, the musical as a whole uh, was very moving to me in a particular way. So, but, but there's so many of them, you know. Uh, I love Carousel for the song If I Loved You. And that for me was very, uh, important because I realized, wow, you only really have a finite time in the world. And I don't want to be caught in the position where the character found himself that he hadn't taken the time to tell the people that he loved how he loved them. And it was wow. always this supposition in his head. So from that moment on, I was like a fiend telling everybody how I loved them, right? <laughs> was this, this work routine for us was heavy, right? We would work the rehearsal in the afternoon, the evening show. We would do those other event rehearsals between. So we were constantly working. But when we got to London, I remember the other Filipinos and I and Junix were saying, wow, we're only doing the one show? <laughs> so it <laughs> seems like it seemed like it was a little bit... It was simplified for us, but we were there, you know, it was nine to five. We were there in the morning doing a warm up, um, getting ourselves physically ready for this very difficult show. By the way, that The King and I was uh, produced by uh, the Hammerstein Estate. Uh, that, that show spearheaded the centenary celebration of Rogers and Hammerstein. Uh, oh, and and yeah. I was the first, I was the first Oriental Asian to ever play that role prior to to that, prior to me, it was always Hispanic, uh, some Hispanic person, uh, you know, or And to or think Latinate that Buddha is supposed to be a, an Asian, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, so, it, it was, it, I mean, that's one of the things that I wanted to do. I mean, everybody, every actor would want to do a, a, a performance in the West End, right? Or on Broadway, yes. right? So I was able to do the West End twice. Uh, but I was also to, able to do a lead role in the West End, which is what yeah. um, you know I wanted to do for for myself and yeah. So for for my father too, I wanted to uh, to dedicate a lead role to him. When you're doing a show every month, right, month after month after month, you 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 kind of become really aware of yourself and how 
you are similar in a way to the role that you did for or the one you're doing now so you make more and more of an effort to to find that thing that makes that character different from this character and expound on that right so whether it be an internal thing or an external thing you do everything you can so i guess that's why people always say oh you're always changing the way you look but that's um part of the the job you have to yes, you have yes. to you have to assume an entirely different persona and that includes the way you i don't know part your hair or you know wear your shirt i don't know so all those things so i have all these different pictures of me looking like not me um with all the uh, musical performances you had at the cultural center and in other corporate venues and uh, ballrooms for various shows the the range of the songs that you you know repertoire is quite extensive as well right i love big band i love i love singing to live music um there's nothing like um collaborating with live musicians you know i mean there's that that energy that that kind of lifts you and makes it, it easier to sing when there's that collaboration happening stay tuned for the next episode only here on V81 radio manila